Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Okay. In previous lessons, what did you learn? In previous lessons, you can learn about plants. So in our surroundings, what we are observing only plants. No, plants and animals. So today I am discussing about the topic animals. Children, in previous classes, you know what type of animals? Domestic animals, wild animals, and pet animals. So, what are the domestic animals? The domestic animals they can live in farms or nearby houses. The type of animals we can call domestic animals. Farms means fields. You know, in our surroundings we can see so many fields and houses. So, in our houses, household purposes, what we are using? Well, we are getting milk and meat. And we are getting some so species like animal skin we are using. Okay, that type of animals we can call domestic animals. Okay, domestic. Can you see? See this is what is this animal? Cow. Okay, so this is the domestic animal because we are using this animal milk. And buffalo and okay. And what is this animal? Horse. This one also domestic animal. Okay, because we are traveling one place to another place, we are using this animal. And buffalo, buffalo goat, goats also we are getting meat. So these type of animals we can call domestic animals. Cow and goat and next one wild animals. What are the wild animals? The animals they can live in forest. These animals are very dangerous because they are having the sharp teeth and they can hunt other animals. Okay, so the type of animals we can call wild animals. These are very dangerous. You know, lion. See this children. What is this animal? Lion. Okay, and lion, elephant, giraffe, and rhinoceros. You know rhinoceros. See hippopotamus and fox. These are the wild animals because these animals they can hunt the other animals, okay? And they can kill other animals. That type of animals we can call wild animals. And next one, pet animals. What are the pet animals? The pet animals they can live. Our houses, we are very friendly with them, and for our entertainment, we are using these animals. You know, puppies, dogs. See this one. What is this? Dog. Okay. This also pet animal. And rabbit, parrots. See children. What is this bird? Parrot. So parrot also pet animal. And cat, dog, and rabbit. Rabbit also pet animal. So members they can take rabbits. Okay. What are the examples of the pet animals? Dog, rabbit. Domestic animals, wild animals, and pet animals. But next, further classes we know about the different types of animals. How we are dividing the animals? It depends upon their food habits and living surroundings. Okay. So depending upon their food habits, we can derive the animals three types: herbivores. Herbivores. Herbivores means the animals 
they don't eat other animals. So the type of animals we can call herbivores. For example, you know elephant. You know elephant. See what is this animal? Elephant. So this animal they can eat only plants. Sometimes we can uh, we can thought the uh, a elephant is a big animal. They can eat other animals. We can think like that. But no, only elephant eat only plants. And see giraffe. This one also they can eat only plants. Okay, they can chew the plants because the doors have the white teeth. See the teeth are having like this. Okay, this type of teeth the herbivores have. So the herbivores they can eat only plants and they can chew the plants. Okay, this type of teeth they are having white teeth. What are the herbivores? Only plant eating animals. What is the lion, giraffe, and bear? Okay, 
terrestrial. Terrestrial means the animals that can live only land. Okay. They can live only land. The type of animals we can call terrestrial. Okay. See. Horse and cow and dog. These animals they can live on land. Fossil animals also elephants, bears. They can only live on land. The type of animals we can call terrestrial animals. Okay, like elephant, giraffe, okay, the animals they can live on land, the type of animals we can call terrestrial animals. And next one, aquatic animals. Aquatic means they can live in water, you know, fishes. Bears, shark, and sea turtles, octopus. You know these fishes. These fishes they can live in water. The type of animals we can call aquatic animals. Aquatic animals they can live. They can eat other fishes. Okay, like you know shark and whale. These are having the shark teeth. That's why they can hunt the other fishes and they can eat fish, whale. And see that. See. These aquatic animals, how can they take breath? Because see, here. What is this? Fish. Eucalyptus. These trees, trees, they can eat polar bears. 
Most of the time, all of this you can spend on base only. Okay? Now, children, you can know it's dependent upon the adaptations we take the day. There is stair animals, aquatic animals, air animals, arboreal animals. You know, children, how we are dividing these animals? Because lion, you can see, lion, where they can live? In grasslands, they can live. See? Children, what type of skin they are having? What type of color they are having? See, grass dry, grass also, they are having this type of color grass. Okay, that's why they are um, escaping from other animals, they are hunting other animals, they are having this type of skin. And they are having good eyesight. Okay, long distance animals also they can see very easily. And here see, they are having claws. Okay, these claws are very sharp, they can hunt other animals and they can dig in the animal's flesh. Okay. You know, in sands, uh, see children, what is this animal? Mountain goat. Okay, so in mountains, the animals that are having thick layer of hair. Okay, see how it is. Thick layer of hair. So, this hair they can help to um, keep the body warm. Okay. Because the mountains are very cold. The highest mountains they have the less hair. So, these animals are the axe. You know, yeah. Axe. I can, you know, I will show. Hum, 
these are the new words because the scientific words you can read more times and terrestrial